1920, this young woman was an obscure manicurist at a barber shop in South Chicago. Six years later, 10,000 people lined up to pay their respects at her funeral. This is the story of Elizabeth Coleman, the Texas girl who soared across the barriers of race and gender in the early days of aviation. Bessie grew up in Waxahachie, Texas. She was poor, she was black, and she was female. Her prospects in life were grim. But Bessie was determined to make something of herself. As a child, she walked four miles each way to attend Waxahachie's one-room school for blacks. As a young woman, she invested every penny of her savings to attend Oklahoma Colored Agricultural and Normal University. But after one semester, her money ran out. Knowing that there was no future back in Waxahachie, Bessie joined two of her brothers who had moved to Chicago. There, she got work giving manicures in a barber shop. And there, veterans returning from World War I spoke of the excitement of military aviation. One of her brothers teased her with claims that French women were better than black women because they could fly. Bessie took the challenge. But because no American flying school would accept a black woman, Bessie got financial backing, learned French, and earned her international pilot's license at a school near Paris. When Bessie returned to the United States, she was a media phenomenon, a black woman who could fly. Reporters began to call her Queen Bess. For the next five years, she earned her living by performing daring stunts in air shows around the country. She was sometimes criticized for shameless self-promotion, but she had her standards. She refused to perform at events which excluded blacks, and when offered a role in a film about her life, she refused to wear tattered clothing to emphasize her early poverty. Bessie's career in aviation was cut short in 1926, when a plane she was testing for an air show crashed in Jacksonville, Florida. A wrench left by a mechanic was found jammed in the controls. Her body was taken back to Chicago, where 10,000 mourners filed past her casket. She had only flown for six years, but her accomplishments inspired an entire generation of African-American men and women. In his 1934 book, Black Wings, William J. Powell, a tireless promoter of black aviation, wrote, because of Bessie Coleman, we have overcome that which was worse than racial barriers. We have overcome the barriers within ourselves and dared to dream. <laughs>